So, hi everybody, uh, welcome to the first vi uh, tutorial video for H HDR uh, Darkroom. Uh, so we're gonna do a quick um, overview of the application and we're gonna open a file and see how to create an HDR out of it. So the first thing uh, I want to make clear is that we're gonna be creating an HDR uh, file from a raw uh, picture. We're, we're not gonna do a, multi a multiple JPEG shot of it. So we're just gonna go straight from the raw picture to an HDR photograph. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into file and we're gonna hit open single file and then you know we're gonna I have the pictures in my desktop so I'm just gonna choose for example this one and I'm gonna click OK. So HDR Darkroom what's gonna do is gonna load my image and it's gonna create an HDR map uh, of it. So uh, once you know the image is here is you know pretty cool uh, this was from a trip you know and it has a great mountain in, in, in the back so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna process it and uh, we're gonna you know select tone mapping which is gonna take us to uh, to a new window with the tone mapping menu and the picture so we're gonna click on it and here it is so as you can see we, we have the the picture in the left uh, pane here and here we have our uh, HDR tone mapping control map, if you wish. So uh, and let's go. I'm, I'm not going to go into the details of each uh, menu because you know this is a quick overview. We're going to be doing uh, several more of this. And by uh, by default, uh, the program selects the local tone balancer. We also have the local tone enhancer. As you can see, uh, the picture will change a little bit. And then we have the fast tone compressor, which you know uh, is quite different from the other ones. So um, and then you know we have we, we can save the parameter, uh, the the one we created, and you know we, we know it works with uh, different uh, pictures. We can save it if you want. Uh, and then you have you know you can individually control uh, the parameters. Right now I'm gonna go with uh, local tone enhancer because uh, you know I, I I like the way this is going. And we're going to play a little bit with the strain, the brightness, the saturation, the fill light. Uh, you know, just be creative here. You, you, don't, you don't have to... I mean, I mean uh, we're going to go into more detail in other videos and, and what each of these means. But, you know, at the end, you just want to, you know, play with it. So, uh, you know, just let's, let's, start, let's start doing that. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna move the strand. I'm gonna find a a a place, you know, and I don't I don't want it to be, you know, like this, where it's extremely, you know, this is, you know, HDR surreal, right? That that's the word. And this is, you know, it's more more plain, more like the the original picture. So I'm gonna go probably around the middle, uh, maybe a little bit more, because I, you know, I want to bring the details in the wall and in the logs. Uh, I like that. Uh, uh, I'm gonna play with the brightness because I think these parts are a little bit too dark still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put the brightness a little bit to the left, to the right. I mean, and you know the, the mountain is coming up, which I like, and this you know is getting brighter, but I can live with it. And then we have some sat saturation. Uh, you know this is very personal taste because uh, for me I, I I I like it to the right. You know like okay so. Um, let, let's see. Let's look at the wood, for example. You know, it's, it's starting to to be really bright, and, and the colors are there. Maybe you know a little bit uh, over overdone, but you know I, I prefer that way. It's, it's a personal taste. And now we're gonna play a little bit with the fill light. Uh, so you can see it's gonna overall is gonna put you know like it's, it's imagine if you had like a a light gun, right? And then you started. Uh, Spraying light all over the picture, right? So that's sort of the uh, the idea here. Uh, so now we can do a, a little bit of color balance. Um, I'm gonna trust the software to do it because I, I don't I don't I, I like what I see right now, right? But I mean, we can you know we can perfectly do it, and we can start pushing things around, and you know bringing you know the the reds and the wood and and, and you know or the greens. Well, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, you know, kicking it with the magenta. But okay, so let's 
let's take it around there. I like it. This is a personal taste, right? I mean, every time I do an HDR, I feel like I'm painting, right? I, I'm um, personally, you know, I I, I want to experiment, creating stuff, and make you know my my pictures like something like I never seen before, right? And then we can work on the black point and the white points. So you know, things uh, black black parts of the uh, of the photo will get darker, and you know, white will get whiter, right? That's the whole point. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're expecting a uh, technical explanation that's gonna come soon. Uh, okay, so you know, I'm gonna put this a little bit. Okay, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with my picture now. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to lower the brightness a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna say, okay, this is the original picture. I mean, take a look at that, right? Uh, and now uh, it's gonna tone map it, and it's gonna give me a final result. Bear in mind, it's a very very big picture. And here it is. Here is the uh, you know the the HDR file of my original picture. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna save it, right? So I'm gonna save this. Uh, you can either save it as a JPEG or you know GIF, Microsoft, uh, BMP, PNG, TIFF, etc. Right? Or you can also what you can do is you can save it as an HDR, right? And so let's let's say test HDR and and let's save it on the desktop. Okay, that's fine. That's great. So uh, wh why I want to show you the HDR part because now. Now I can open a single file, right? And I can I, I, I can open this uh, radiance map, as some of you may call it. And the uh, the picture is going to be there. It's going to have all my uh, previous my previous um, my previous tone mapping, right? So I'm just going to open the tone map, and you see there it is. That's the original. That's that's the uh, those are my settings, so you know that's that's very cool. Okay, so now uh, what I really want to do is I, I want to save it. All right? Okay, let's click OK. Has to process it again. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna open it in Photoshop and we're gonna do some final touches to it, and then you know we can uh, publish it online and. Hopefully, get some uh, few cool comments and you know let people see our work, right? So I'm just gonna save it, uh, take a, a test HDR, and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna save it as a TIFF, right? It's a personal preference. So let's put TIFF there. So we hit OK, and that's it. 